Salutations, it's your old pal Revenge Creature, and welcome to a quick rune tour. What I'd like to do today is just kind of show you what happens when your shelves get too full and you have to start going up. So, let's take a tour of the top of my shelving units. Okay, uh, this is the first one. Uh, as you can see here, it's got uh, Transformers. Uh, and these are different uh, Target Masters and uh, Titan Masters from the past few years. Um, those are based on the Pretenders from the 80s, these guys. Um, Monster, Con, uh, Monster Con, Monster Bot, something like that. Uh, that I believe him and him, those two guys are uh, based on cassettes from Blaster. Um, Fangry, I believe that's called. That's based on like a set for Soundwave. There's Ape Face, um, Lionizer in original colors, and then this one, uh, this is Captive Lionizer, and then that's the regular Lionizer. Um, then I have um, a few Star Wars Black Series figures. Not a ton of them, but uh, I do have a few here. Uh, there's my baby Yoda, or the child rather, <laughs> and that's it. I got, and then I've got up there, I've got those, we'll get there. The next shelf up, um, GoBots, that is a third party version of Leader One there. You can see all the GoBots here that I have. There's a window behind me, so it's casting shadows, sorry about that. There's all the GoBots I have. And then up here on the top shelf, uh, we see there's the 40th anniversary RTD2, the Stormtrooper, and R5D4 um, from the 40th anniversary collection Black Series. This is the Netflix uh, Megatron. Since I got the new one uh, yesterday, I didn't know where to put the old one. And the same thing with the new Starscream that I got. So there's my previous default Starscream. Then down here we have some uh, Star Wars Micro Machines from the 90s. Uh, the original, very first release of Star Wars on v uh, Beta, excuse me, home video Beta release. Um, and then we have the Funko Pop based on the Kenner Cantina Aliens. Um, I don't own a lot of Pops either, but uh, you'll see a couple here and there. Uh, next up is the top of this shelf, and as we go in here, these are a few more pops. Um, this is a Tom. Well, this is my life-size Tom Servo. This is Tom Servo that came with one of the DVD sets from Mr. Science Theater. If you're not familiar with the character, uh, this is Funko Pop uh, Tom Servo Funko Pop Crow. This is a Call of Duty character. Uh, that's a, one of the few pops that I. And then I have these two guys, which are Destro and um, Trapjaw. And I think that's all the pops that I actually have. Um, this is a Transformer, uh, a retool of the Power Glide mode, uh, excuse me, Power Glide mold. Um, then as a Cobra figure, uh, kind of turns into a Cobra Rattler from G.I. Joe, so that's a cool hybrid figure. Back here are the two D&D &D figures that I have, Strongheart and uh, War Duke. This is the um, Japanese Megatron from Car Robots. Uh, actually, it's Devil Gigatron. Excuse me. Devil Gigatron. Here's my Fortress Maximus holding a Mystery Science Theater, uh, kind of a squishy ball, and then um, an unopened uh, Muscles. Um, that's the Cosmic Showdown set. <laughs> and then up there's a Batman figure because my walls are very strange and I can't really put nails in them. Um, so I have to use ones that were already existing. And there was a nail way up there, so I put that there. Uh, then we have my uh, Chomp Chomp guy. You know who he is. I've suddenly blacked it out on his name, but uh, here are a couple of Target Masters. Um, these are newer Transformers. These guys turn into weapons for the larger guys. And then here we have Trypticon. Thank you. I just pulled that up. Trypticon. Um, then over here on top of my DVD shelf, Blu-ray shelf, we have a tin, collectible tin of the movie The Black Hole. An incredibly underrated movie. It's on Disney+. Plus. I urge you to check it out. It is very bizarre. It was kind of Disney's cash-in on Star Wars. Um, but it's just, whew, it is out there. Then my small Twin Peaks collection of stuff. Um, my Coop bobblehead. Um, a pen, Block Lodge pen um, that Rachel got me. Same thing with this. Um, and then I put this little Transformers uh, accessory on top of it to make it look like that fire that uh, appeared over the slot machines. Uh, vintage Impel dinosaur and a little pewter kitty cat. Uh, rubbing against his legs. Okay, next over on top of the G.I. Joe shelf, um, we have um, a box for Batman cereal. We have a box for the Atari Pac-Man. We have the Joker from the Toy Biz. Um, so those two are from the same thing. Uh, the Kenner Death Star uh, space station. We have the Hot Wheels City. Um, 
Stomper uh, military set. It's got some tanks and it's a cool bridge, but you can't see it because of the Gen Joe box for the adder. And there's the adder. Uh, and there's an original Atari box. Um, and then um, a lot of Joes that just I um, started out like these were guys that I got in the mail or I just wanted to put certain ones up originally. Some of these in the back here, um, like the uh, space guys, and then there's like the. Um, Street Fighter dudes, and I've got like the different molds. Um, you'll see like a Cobra Claws back there, and those Python Patrol guys. This version of Overkill right here. Those are some of the newer like experiments when they try to do different Joe bodies. Um, and then there's like a 25th modern style Quinn, because they never made Quinn in the vintage collection, and he was a very important character. Uh, in the comics and stuff, we have Scarlet, a different Scarlet mold from. Uh, the early 2000s, um, and then my subsets where I'm starting my Tiger Force, Ninja Force, uh, Python Patrol, um, my Alley Vipers, uh, Overkill, that's the 2003 Overkill, um, then we have a Super Sonic Viper, Super Sonic Viper, or Sonic Fighters Viper, there's some 90s guys, the DEF bad guys back there, um, <clears throat> the weirdo like Ice Cream Soldier, there's the last version of Stalker they made. Um, just some random 90s guys that I, or late 80s guys really. Here's my DEF Joes. Um, I'm not sure what this is, but it's Hasbro and it's a Jeep. So I'm going to assume this is related, related to G.I. Joe somehow. Um, here are three micro collection figures, Quick Kick, Buzzer, and Roadblock. Then there's a little Mobat tank. Uh, it's a gumball dispenser. There's one of the die cast uh, vehicles. It's the Ram. Um, and then here's a micro uh, collection um, persuader tank. This is the Rice Krispies mail away version of Lifeline. As you can see, no pistol. That was the stipulation. They wanted a figure with no weapons. Although he does have an empty hol he does have an empty holster there. Um, and so that's a look at those guys. And then up here on top of this white shelf, um, we have several different items. We'll just start on this end and work that way. Um, this is the Rebel Transport. From Empire Strikes Back, that is a uh, tank, uh, like a plastic tank you get at Walmart and stuff for cheap. Um, but I had one of these. Uh, the back opens up. I did use it for Joe a lot when I was a kid. Uh, the Fisher Price uh, camper with the family. Uh, this is complete. It's got the potty and the motorcycle with it. Back there is a Mighty Mo tow truck. Uh, that's the, the same one I had. This is actually the one I had uh, from my childhood. This is a recent Joe set I got. The international, uh, this is a mail away, the international uh, action team. Um, these are my Mega Constructs He Man figures down here, along with a couple of vinyls He Man and Trap Jaw. Um, there's the bad guys. And my uh, vintage He Man's uh, Battle Cat. Here's Castle Grayskull. Skeletor is up there looking down, and Beetlejuice is hanging out. Got that Beetlejuice back in the early uh, 2000s working at Blockbuster. Uh, it was part of a display, like a Halloween display. And uh, anyway, I've had it ever since. So that's almost everything, except if we go way over here in the closet, whoops, <laughs> you can see that um, there are, whoa, it's kind of dark. Um, I have a few spillover items here. Um, this is the Snowcat with its driver frostbite. There's the Persuader tank with its driver backstop. The, um, the, Cobra Maggot Tank with the Driver Worms, really attractive names there. The Cobra uh, SMS, my Mego Hulk, my Unicron, a um, couple of vintage rack toys from the old Star Trek series. There's a Azrak Hamway rack toys uh, Batman helicopter. There's a little Dr. Pepper that Rachel gave me, <laughs> and there's a Curious George that uh, teddy bear. And I apologize. Uh, I know uh, a certain person gets freaked out by Curious George, but I'm sorry. And then way up there, there's some of my albums, including my uh, laser disc for Showgirls. Um, and then these binders have uh, different things, card backs, collectible cards, things like that, uh, some art supplies. And then there's a figure eventually. I'm going to do a video just on it because it is out there. Um, and then you just go down here and there's uh, one of these trays that keep all of the weapons. Uh, so <laughs> spill over. Um, that's uh, the few 25th anniversary figures I have, uh, Spillover Joe weapons, um, miscellaneous weapons. Uh, these are non-Joe figures that I have. Uh, then you go down here, some more. There's a comic box of my comics. There's 
the Joe figures that I don't have displayed. Um, it's a box of Transformers I don't have displayed. And these are, I think, uh, video game consoles, um, like the uh, plug-and-play systems. Um, so, anyway, my closet doesn't really have a lot of clothes in it, does it? <laughs> and that's about it. <laughs> All right, well, that's the video. I do thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy this tour of the top shelves in my room. And we will see you on the next one. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, all that horse radish. Osquinoxo.